when you look to the problems that we must tackle, uh, climate change, uh, immigration, uh, social Europe, the, the only solution is to find solutions at the European level, at the, in, in the European Union. It's not possible to find solutions for that kind of problems at the uh, national level. And that's a very strong message. We must uh, strengthen the European Union. We must be aware that the only way to find solutions, not only for Italy, for Belgium and so on, is at the European level. And then can Europe be very strong to uh, China, to Russia and so on. This, we need a stronger European Union. We need more um, speaking with one voice uh, and that will be more the case than today. But I understand the point you're making, but with respect, the result of the parliamentary election show that there are many divisions and many voices. And quite frankly, it's difficult for Europe to look strong when the growth rates are so weak. Yeah, but we have for the moment 28 democracies and when uh, UK is living we have 27 democracies. That means we have a lot of discussions and that take uh, time. Uh, that's, that's true. But uh, at the European level we find every time com uh, a compromise and to find solutions. And that is my, uh, my driving force to say the European Union is a marvelous project. It's the best project uh, in the world to see uh, what democracies can do together. And uh, you have uh, mentioned some, some issues, uh, weaknesses and so on. I am convinced that we can find the right answers, take some time, some, because discussions take time, uh, around the table, find the discussions. But I'm uh, convinced that the European Union shall also in the future be a very important power, not only a power when you uh, talk about values, about uh, trade, but also a power that is very important at the world level uh, in the discussion with China, the United States and so on. Let me just ask you one final question. Uh, President Trump um, has taken a tough line over a trade deal with China. He's reawakened the whole issue of whether there is going to be a Mexican trade deal or not at this point. Um, is Europe ready? and prepared to negotiate with Mr. Trump on trade. How worried are you that we just don't have a strong position to argue back with yet? Of course, Jean-Claude Juncker was uh, in uh, Washington and discussed with uh, President Trump uh, some uh, months ago. Uh, I'm convinced that for us, Europe, and also for Belgium, the most open economy in the world, uh, the, most, uh, uh, the biggest uh, threat for us is a trade war, and that when uh, President Trump says, OK, we shall with China introduce some tariffs and so on, a trade war. It's very, very bad for our economy worldwide, but certainly for the economy in Europe and certainly for our economy in Belgium. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.